Good day everyone! Welcome back to your virtual learning class. Before anything else, I just want to greet everyone a happy, happy, happy new year. Alright, since vacation is over, now let's talk about our third quarter lesson, which is about desserts. Are you ready? Let's start! Desserts are variety of confectionaries such as sweets, cakes, preserves, and the like. They are served at the final phase of a meal. Set meals and buffets nowadays serve a variety of desserts from fresh or cooked fruits with or without dressing to puddings, pies, muffins, grapes, cakes, gelatins, mousse, meringues, sherbets, and ice cream. Every meal is never complete without a dessert. More than a tradition, the preference for sweets at the end of a meal has become part of the food habits of many people around the globe. Desserts may be served at varying temperatures and can be classified as hot and cold desserts. Hot desserts are those served at lukewarm temperature and higher, as 40 degrees Celsius or 104 degrees Fahrenheit and above. Desserts like crepes, fritters, crunch, flambe, fried fruits, for example, banana fritters, pineapple and pineapple fritters, baked fruits such as hot baked, grapefruit stuffed baked apples, and souffle such as tapioca and some recipe of pies, cakes, and puddings are served warm and hot. On the other hand, cold desserts are those served from below room temperature of 20 degrees Celsius to 18 degrees Celsius to chill and freeze. Examples are fruit salads, mousse, ice cream, sherbets, fresh fruits with or without dressings, cream and custards, and some baked fruits. Now, let's proceed with the different types of desserts and their ingredients. First, we have the puddings, pies, and tarts. Puddings are soft bread variety made of bread softened in milk with egg and sugar added. Flavorings like crushed pineapple, raisins, and nuts may be added to give it a rich flavor. On the other hand, we have the pies. Pies are types of pastries consisting of high proportions of fat, flour, and a little water resulting to a tender and flaky crust. Pies have single or double crust with a variation of fillings such as cream, custard, fruits, chicken, pork, and even vegetables. And lastly, tarts. Tarts are small pies with a single crust and open top and fillings like cooked custard, mahapuno preserves, fruits, nuts, and topped with mirang. They come in round and boat shapes. Next, we have the variety of cakes and cake specialties. Cakes are rich muffins that contain a high proportion of fat, sugar, and eggs. Cake specialties are elaborate types of cakes served for special occasions. Custard rolls, mahapono rolls, ubi rolls, mango ram cake, chocolate marble cake, and blitz tart are examples of specialty cakes. Muffins are small cakes that contain a high proportion of fat, sugar, and eggs. They are heavy and tender and come in various flavorings like strawberry muffins, blueberry muffins, banana muffins, and many others. At this point of time, we have the custard and creams. Custard is a tender and thickened mixture of milk eggs and sugar molded in flan, molders and steamed or baked. Custards are topped with caramelized sugar to give a rich brown color. 
while on the other hand, cream is a milk product which contains more fat than milk itself. There are three types of cream. First, we have the light cream, which is fluid and used for coffee, tea, and breakfast cereals. Second, we have the medium cream, which is for whipping cream. And lastly, we have the heavy cream, which is thick and viscous and is used in fruit salad and cream cakes. Creams and custards are favorite fillings for cakes. Fourth, we have the meringues and grapes. Meringues are egg whites beaten to stiff stage with sugar added gradually. It is dropped on greased cookie sheets using a pastry bag and baked until light gold in color. Grapes, on the other hand, are very thin pancakes and are served with fillings like fresh or cooked fruits like, for example, mangoes, peaches, and strawberries with whipped cream, custard, or chocolate cream. Fifth type of desserts are pancakes and waffles. These are snack favorites, but they are also served for breakfast and for buffet desserts. Pancakes and waffles are poor butters with a one to one ratio of flour and liquids. Eggs and butter are added for a rich flavor. Waffles, on the other hand, are similar to pancakes, but they come with extra egg and fat for a richer and more tender product. Waffles are crispier, drier, and more uniformly golden brown than pancakes. They can be filled with cheese, sausage, ham, or bacon. All right, that's all for now, grade 9. We will continue our discussion next week for the other types of desserts. Thank you, stay safe, and God bless everyone.